here today to talk to you about emotion. I want to tell you a story about Gina. Uh, Gina's on her way to Paris, she's going to get the Eurostar. She's off to visit a mum for two weeks, so she's packed a lot of heavy bags. Trouble is, as she's moving through the platform, it's moving through the on the way to the platform, she's really struggling and she's looking around. And there's no one, there's no attendants or anyone to help her. Fantastic. However, what if there was a way that we could help Gina without her asking for it? This is emotion. We aim to transfer, transform emotions into data, thereby transforming the customer experience one story at a time. Customers want more personalised experiences. And indeed, it's in Britain especially, there's a great silent majority of people who either don't like complaining or lack the means to do so. Additionally, in this, day, in this digital day and age, we expect immediate and responsive customer service. And traditional sentiment analysis tools, such as Twitter and surveys, are ineffective at providing that. So our platform has three parts. Sense, respond, and know with the overall aim of identifying, managing, and learning from real-time customer sentiment. The first part is the sense system. This is a cognitive sentiment analysis tool that will actually analyze images and video to detect emotions from faces, and then turn these into data. You can see examples of these on the screen. You can see here the green box, and the red text next to it um, are the emotions that are currently in this <laughs> And this ranges from anything from sadness to happiness and surprise. But how can we use that in rail? So here we have a case study. We have a passenger who's a little bit annoyed at the mobile phone. Maybe they're annoyed at the Wi-Fi. The actual sense system will actually pick up their distress. It will call an attendant, and the attendant will be able to come in, and if they can't take immediate corrective action, they can at least apologise to the customer and make them feel a bit better. But how can we actually deploy um, a system that can tell people in real time where customers are having issues? And that's where our second part, Respond, comes in. What this is, it's an app that we can deploy to a mobile phone and hand to a, a train attendant. And what they can do, they can scroll through the train and see where customers are experiencing issues. For example, here we have a customer called John Doe, he's a frequent traveller, um, but he's got an issue. So we can actually go to John Doe, find out what his problem is, um, and then in this case, John's having a bit of trouble putting his luggage in the rack. So we can actually add it to the rack, we can note that down <coughs> in the system um, and be on our way and move on to the next one. But perhaps the most exciting part of our system is the no system. And what this does, it takes traditional uh, data, which we actually take from the, the train operating companies, and alongside our sentiment analysis tools, and visualises this in an interactive dashboard. You select the start station and the end station, and then information is protect, uh, presented contextually based upon that route. And this is helping solve one of the key problems of the rail industry, in that they know customers leave them negative feedback, but often they don't know why or whereabouts in the customer journey this is occurring. If we were to deploy our system not only to trains, but also to places like platforms, concourses and so on, we can start to identify where customers' particular pain points are and how we can address them. In terms of our business model, we're operating a software as a service business model. We estimate there is an £800 cost of installing our infrastructure in the carriage, as well as a £400 a month upkeep uh, fee. Additionally, we are, more, we are more than able to actually deploy um, in, alongside, alongside our customers and trade operating companies' existing systems as well. Lastly, in terms of benefits, I think one of the key things in the rail industry is not only understanding what they need to improve, but understanding what they need to do well so they can build upon it. Um, and the system will actually enable them to do that with its kind of the granular approach. Additionally, understanding you know, the customer's pain points and the impact of each incident to each customer um, is actually a key area that we believe that we can help and offer something unique um, that isn't currently uh, available in rail. Lastly, um, the way that we have been actually analysed multiple data sets and taking some of the wonderful data sets that our, that our sponsors have provided um, for part of this, um, alongside these new and emerging forms of data, it's an unknown quantity. Who knows what kind of amazing insights, um, etc. we're going to be able to actually glean um, from doing that. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, we're in motion. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>